Hi. Um, so in this video, I'm shooting my Savage Mark II, the 21 inch barrel. I'm using the Browning Precision Rimfire 40 grain hollow points. I got a target set up at 100 yards. I'm just going to see how well I do today with it. Um, so, yeah. Nothing special about today. And I did not even hit it. Shit. I thought I had it set for this rifle. Of course. No, I don't know. Okay, I may have to shoot into the dirt to see where the hell I'm hitting. I thought I had it sighted for this ammo, but shit, maybe not. I get forgetful what I do sometimes. Like, I'm just going to go for a little rock that's off target. Back it down a little bit. Okay, that showed it hit high. Probably a full rotation and a little to the right. Okay. Oh, that was like half the distance low so let me go about halfway so i'm thinking i don't have this set for this rifle um and i gotta go left no right now Find that rock oh there it is Go low. Go low. Shit, I'm back to where I almost where I started from. The hell? Just not having a good day with this rifle, am I? Okay, so I hit the rock. So it should be close enough to be on target now. Bugs flying all around me and landing on me and making me icky. Got one more round. Okay, I'm going to go patch up the targets. Then I'm going to try 10 more rounds. I'll be back. Okay, so i got 10 more rounds of it in there. I'm going to see how I do. See if I can make myself happy. What the hell? I do not see that anywhere. I think I've gone crazy.
Oh wait, I see something way down. What the hell? That's all nice and tight. Maybe, maybe this gun doesn't like this ammo very well. But that's just, I mean, that's about nine inches low and to the right. I don't know if that was my first or second shot, but. Yeah, I, I, it's not me. I mean, it's a 22, so I'm not moving. This is this is the rifle and gun or ammo. I mean, I don't think the barrel could have cooled down that much. Yep, I do have a round in there. And it was kind of consistent there, but I mean, the first few rounds are like way off. No, I don't like that. You know, I got some, uh, I think it's Winchester out here with me. I'm, I'm going to try that. I'm going to side it in. And then go for the bottom target. Let's we'll see how that does. Okay, apparently the camera or the battery died in my other camera, so I don't think a lot of that um, last shooting I did into the target was seen. But it was like the first shot I couldn't tell. By the second shot, I was hitting like a hit. I could tell a hit uh, eight, nine inches down about five, 430. Um, then it started working itself up and it, and it kind of settled like this um, around the 7 30 8 o'clock mark which was just friggin because I hadn't changed the scope any so I'm gonna I'm trying um, some Winchester Super X 40 grain hollow point um, I got it but I think I'm gonna be on a paper I'm gonna shoot at the bottom target this time and see if I can get it uh, See if it's more consistent than the other one. Damn. Okay, I'm going to do a second shot before I adjust. Yeah, look at that. Back up at the first one. I mean, that's what three inches. That's not good. I got to find ammo that this rifle likes. Back up there. And that was right in there. So <laughs> it doesn't seem to like this ammo that much either. Should have one round left here. Yeah. I mean, for planking on a 22, this still sucks.
three in a red, but the rest were just like all over the place. It's starting to get hot out here too, but yeah, I'm not, I'm not happy with those. So that's, that's terrible results. Um, I got some, got some American Eagle. I think I'm going to try 10 rounds of that. All right. Um, I'll be back. Okay, so now I got this American Eagle. It's a 38 grain copper plated hollow point. Got these um, a number of years ago. So I think I'm gonna be close. I'm gonna be going for the bottom target. I just, I'm, I'm just gonna aim in the same spot and try to group it, provided I'm on the, the um, shoot and see. We'll go, we'll, you know, we'll see how it goes. Well, that went pretty good, but let's see if I can keep doing that. That could have just been a fluke. Well, it's grouping a lot better now. I mean, look at that. It seems like this ammo. I mean, so far a couple flyers. But overall, it's a lot better. So got two rounds left. Bugs are flying around me, driving me nuts. That was kind of outside there, but okay. But yeah, that was that. That's much better, you know, for a cheap 22 ammo. I mean, yeah, the Browning and the um, Winchester, man, this rifle does not like that at all. So and it just goes to show you just why some rifles like some ammo and, and other ammo, they won't shoot worth the crap. So, all right, thanks for watching.